Well, we have talked about uninsured motorist coverage to protect you against another driver who's not insured. But what happens when neither driver in the crash has auto insurance? In this week's Know the Law segment, Attorney Tom Sign is joining us to talk about the assigned claims plan and how you're going to get taken care of if you don't have it. So this is something that most people don't know about, okay. and it's important to understand because it's really kind of one of the bedrock foundations sure. of the Michigan no-fault right. law kinda system. Tricky. And what is the, the, the basic concept of our no-fault law system is this. If you're involved in an automobile accident and you're not disqualified from getting benefits, then you get no-fault benefits regardless of fault. So then the question becomes, okay, where do I go to get those benefits? Right. right? Now, why is this so important? Because when it comes to no-fault benefits, we're talking about things like lifetime medical care for auto accident-related injuries, right. three years lost wages, three years of replacement service type expenses. So these are significant expenses. So locating the right insurer is really important. Now, in most cases, you go to your own insurance company. That's the default rule. In some cases, the person who's injured goes to the insurance company for the other vehicle. Now, motorcycles are a good example. Okay. So I would say most cases you can find an insurance company in that mix there. Okay. But every once in a while you have a situation where somebody's not disqualified from benefits and yet there's no insurance involved vis-a-vis -vis the vehicles in the accident. Okay. So where do they go? Right. Where do those people go? They go to the assigned claims plan. Sometimes people call this the insurer of last resort, and that doesn't mean to diminish it. It just means that that's where you go to get your claim assigned to an insurance company. Okay. Once it's assigned, the insurance company that gets assigned to your claim becomes responsible for that claim for the rest of your life, the rest of the, or for the rest of the, the duration of the claim. So what's really significant, though, is that you have to make sure that notice is given to the assigned claims plan within one year. One year of the crash, okay. If not, then there is no ability to pursue benefits through the assigned claims plan. Okay. And one of the reasons I thought it would be good for us to talk about this is I suspect we're going to hear more about no fault in the public debate. And one of the things that the legislature has been trying to do over the last few years is to modify how the assigned claims plan works. Okay. Either make certain people not eligible or limit benefits. So I thought it might be good to understand what it is so if we hear about it yeah. in the news, people understand what sure. it really means. Because it sounds technical, but it really matters. Right, and let's hope you don't ever have to meet it in person. But if you do, at least you know what you're getting into. Wow. That's right. All right, Tom, where right. do people track it down? They can find us uh, anywhere on the web at www.sinusdramus.com. Give us a call in West Michigan at 616-301-3333. Or shoot us an email at info at sinusdramus.com. Right. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Derek.